starting at a disadvantage. The guy's on top of you. And uh, guys, the biggest difference that I see in, in, um, in, in high school and college wrestling is the amount of time the referees are letting them ride on top. You get to college, you guys that go on to wrestle in college, I hear a lot of Jersey guys come back saying, you know, I'm getting pounded on the body. You guys are throwing in the legs, the power halves, two glutes. You know, because in Jersey, it may, may be changing a little bit now, but in the past, you know, the short area was known for the referees banging the guys on top. If they're not in a pinning combination, they're getting hit. Now they're letting them up and we're neutral again. You go to Pennsylvania wrestling, you will see more top-bottom wrestling. You go to college, you're going to see a lot of top-bottom wrestling. Some of you guys should go and watch the Rutgers matches this year. You got the Big Ten. It's, it's close. Uh, we have Iowa at Rutgers on January 2nd, Sunday afternoon, 2 o'clock. What are you doing? Is Coach Nuch going to crazy enough to have practice? Yes, he is. What's that? Going to the match. Going to the match. Iowa at Rutgers. You'll see the best wrestling in the country. Uh, January 16th on a Friday night. Penn State, four-time national champ at Rutgers. You go to see those matches, you're going to learn a lot. You're going to see a lot of top-bottom wrestling. So I wanted to spend some time with a stand-up. And uh, guys, honestly, I showed this stand-up a lot over the years, and, and not a lot of guys used it. Why? Because it takes so much time. It, it, all these little pieces go together. If you have a stand-up, if you tell me I'm getting out all the time, I'm getting out 90% of the time, then don't change the stand-up. Don't change it. I had a young wrestler from CBA come to me at the end of the school year last year. He goes, I can't get out. I'm not getting out. I'm taking everybody down, but you know, I start on the bottom, I'm getting crushed. So I suggested this stand-up, and I haven't seen him wrestle over the summer, but he tells me he's getting out. Um, and I, like I said, I stopped teaching this a, a few years back, and then we had the coaches from Northwestern University. Who's ever heard of Northwestern? Where is it? Anybody know? Chicago. I'm asking these guys, William. I don't know. It's, it's in Chicago. Okay? They are now ranked, and you've never heard of them, but you will hear of them. They're preseason ranked number seven in the nation. They had a... That's Canada. Chicago's in Canada. You guys know that, right? <laughs> but they had a, a freshman, a freshman win the NCAA's Division I Nationals last year. We had the uh, Northwestern coaches at CBA for um, camps the last, uh, not this past summer, but the two previous summers we had in... And, and their top assistant, Matt Ster Sterniola, taught the stand-up I'm going to show you. Okay, and like I said, if you're having a hard time getting out from the bottom, then, you know, try to stand up, but be patient with it, because it takes time to put the pieces together. Okay, and the way it works is, is, is like this. First, I don't want to have a lot of weight on my hands. I'm going to be real light on my hands, because I want to have quick hands here. And instead of the traditional, which you may have learned in middle school like this, standing up like this, I'm going to cross my hands. I cross my hands like this. And the reason I like this is because I'm going to use an in if Liam's on my left side, I'm going to use an inside leg stand up. Okay? And this may not work for heavyweights or you know upper weights that are a little slow because it does require some quickness. But what I like about this is that my arm and my leg is going in the same direction. So in my mind, all my energy is going in this direction. I'm aiming my foot from my right hand, okay? And I'm switching my hands like this, as quick as I can, as quick as I can. Let's just go here first, boom, just like this. This is the way I would teach it to young wrestlers, right like this. Quick hand, so I'm not, my weight's not here, it's gonna slow me down. I've got very little weight on my fingertips. And I'll just drill this, okay? Now, the second part is we're going to step up. So when you get with your partner, one guy top, one guy bottom, I want you to do this about eight to ten times, just getting used to doing this. This hand is not in a position where if I come up, you know, he can lock around my waist. This is what I don't want. If I can get up here with hand control, I'm going to get out 90% of the time. Okay? If, if I get up and he's locked around here, I'm going to get out a lot less, maybe maybe 10% of the time, he's going to return me to the mat. I'm not going to break this. Before I break this, I'm going to be back, back down on the mat. And how many times have you wasted energy? You know, I hear guys say, I see guys that get to their feet four times and no points. 
and they're getting returned to the Mac, returned to the Mac. You've got to get hand control. Now, I, I, I've seen, guys, I've seen the stand-up taught a million different ways. I saw a Penn State coach say, just stand up like this. And I think Southern Regional, great number one in the shore last year, teaches it the same way. I asked the coach Tabuccino, you know, he says, he says, have his guys come up like this. You know, they can't, they can't lock hands until you're standing up. So I've seen it a million different ways. But personally, I want to attack his hands when I'm coming up. I want to have hand control when I get to my feet. So I'm crossing my hands like this. I'm stepping up with my inside leg. And I'm not looking down. I want my head down. I want my head up. I'm exploding up. But with this hand, I want four fingers or a wrist or five fingers. And even if I get one or two fingers, which is illegal, I will have my second hand on there before the ref sees it, hopefully. Okay? So at this point right here, as soon as I have a handful of my opponent, I'm now going two on one. And at this point, I want to use some back pressure. Because as you can see, as you've heard from the time you started wrestling, you know, if a table has three legs, you could, you could tip it over in that direction. And you can see a little bit of force in that direction, I'm going down. So at this point here, I need back pressure. So he's pushing in, I'm pushing up. This is where I want to be, right here. All right, let's not deal with the cut in right now with facing our opponent. But let's get to this position with hand control. And I want this hand straight. I don't want the hand here where he's still strong, right? And I always tell our guys, don't attack one hand and the other hand. You want to attack two hands. If once you have this, it doesn't matter what he does with the other hand. If he comes over the top, I can go under that. It doesn't matter. He's not going to hold me if I have this. All right? So let's get to this point first. All right, so we're going to do this. We're going to break it down in pieces. We're just going to, on your own, come right here. And this hand on the waist, keep it close to your body. Keep it real close to your body. Okay? And then we're going to step up at the same time. All right? And as soon as you, you're not looking, I'm not, I don't have to look down. I know, guys, where is his arm going to come? Where can it go when I'm in this position? Something's coming around my waist. So as soon as I grab hands, fingers, I'm attacking it with two hands. And this is where you should be. All right, so the second part is going to be here to here. So we're going to do this. Your opponent's no pressure on top. Here, post down. Post down. Post down. All right? And then the third part will be my back pressure into him. Right from here. Back pressure right up in here. Small steps backwards. And we'll finish right there. All right, we won't cut in yet. All right, so on two. One, two. 